Hey, it's good to see you. I know this is weird. It's totally fine. Sanitized for your protection. We are in a store. It's called Front Porch, and it's in Troy, North Carolina. Everybody's staying far away from one another. And I just wanted to show you around. They just opened back up yesterday. And I want to look around at some of the cool stuff in here. Look at this. Oh, that's a cool picture. The Old Mill Stream by Paul Detlifson. That's cool. I like that. Now we have different booths set up in here. And each booth belongs to a different person. We have this is tobacco, the United States Tobacco Company, Central Union Cut Plug. That that says cut plug, not it says cut plug. Ooh, that's cool. A large cookie jar from Mills Mills Bakery. That's cool. Oh look, look at these pipes. Four pipes with a stand on it for forty two dollars. Here's a picture. What is this? Oh, it looks like a wedding. That looks like a... Not like a wedding to me. Let's see what the tag says. Original Org Tree Moons Photo, Charlotte, North Carolina, 1917 in the original frame. Wow. Southern Division of D and LDL Gear Medicine Company and at St. Louis, Missouri of Charlotte, North Carolina, July 4th through 6th, 1917. Okay, maybe it's not a wedding. <laughs> well, I thought it was because they're wearing white and they have flowers. Okay, it's not a wedding. I didn't know. Here we have overseas. Piedmont Freed Meal. Feed Meal, Lord. Pinnock and Ford Limited, New Orleans, corn, sugar cane, and maple products. Just old receipts. Huh, cool. Oh, look at the pretty pottery. Oh, CC Cole Pottery. That's a pretty one there. It's only $15. I know it may be freaking you out that I'm touching stuff. I cannot. I can't stop touching things, I'm sorry. I can't just walk through without touching anything. Hang on, it's talkative in here. I decided to move away. I thought it might be better to come back here. We're back kind of in the corner, and this, there's stuff that just goes and goes back here. Oh, there's the back door down that way. What we got in here? Oh, isn't this a cool shelf? Look at that. It's like it's made out of old fencing. I think that was an old fence. And it's made like a, a ladder. That's neato. How much is that? Oh, it's just laid on there. Oh, I don't know. There's no price on anything. Maybe these are just displays. Maybe these aren't for sale. You, put, you feed chickens out of that thing. You do, you put the feed in there. Oh, it's a turkey feeder. $59. Huh. Cool. Um, all these lights are pretty. Look at these hanging lights. Yeah, I, I can't come in a store like this without touching things. I wash my hands, I promise. And I'm not touching my face. Here we have some weather vanes. Look at here. It's like... All these, these bookends are interesting. Look at that. Their little feet. That'd be cool for like a ballerina or something. It's like they were part of a mannequin or something. Oh, here's a little crocheted dress. It's a crocheted christening gown with, oh, and there's the cap right there for, for a christening. How pretty. That's only $20. Neato. And here, oh my gosh. Y'all remember Moore's? Look. Y'all remember them? Look at that. More for less. I remember that little fox. It's an apron from Moore's. They were like a hardware store or something. I remember them. This is set up like a like a little church. Oh, it is a church, I reckon. 
I don't know. It's not as this stuff's for sale. This rug is pretty. You can get a chair for $29. This bench is nice. It's a primitive church pew. $125. Nice, and we have some stuff set up back here. Mod Mama. It's like a mid-century little dresser. I gotta watch the music. Oh, I like this this little couch here. It's a little a little mushy, but the quilt is pretty too. These look like quilts that my grandmother or great grandmother would have made. Probably made around the same time. You just make them out of scraps. Mm-hmm. Junkin' Jacks. <laughs> Junkin' Jacks. Here we have a cheer wine bottle. It's an old cheer wine bottle. Coke bottles. I don't know anything about them. I know that they changed their styles. This is an older one here. I think. I could be wrong. They have some larger ones here. Little crocheted pigs. <laughs> you could get you a crocheted pig for $4. He's cute. It'd be funny if it had a little squeaker in it. <laughs> That's too cool. You can get a smiley face cup and a smiley face little thing. I think that's taped on. Yeah, it's taped on there. Huh. Well, there's a nice old wooden chair. Look at that. $20. That's a nice chair. And look at the cute little stool. You get this adorable little stool for eight dollars and a butter churn for ten. Oh up here look that's a pretty pillow for six dollars nice here's a tub with wheels on it ideal Jefferson Iowa that's a cool tub Oh, look at this. It's made out of driftwood. It's like a, I don't know. It looks like a bale. <laughs> hmm. Oh my gosh. Look at this old Tang picture. This looks like something from the 60s. See, it says Tang on it. Vintage Tang picture. $15. That's cool. And Oh, here's, oh, okay. So I guess you put a little plant in there. Yeah, here's another one here. A cute little lamp. <laughs> I love antique stores. My kids didn't want to come. So they don't love antique stores, but that's their loss. You don't ever know what you're going to find. What in the world? It's a cool thing. Hang on. Now there's something you don't see every day. Look, it's a it's a glass baseball with a top on it like a mason jar. This is a $12 for a baseball bank. So it's like a little piggy bank. Oh, look. Greensboro people, look. Remember, remember when it was called the Greater Greensboro Open? <laughs> How about that? It's a little GGO. I don't know if it's a bank or what it is. That's cute. Oh my lord, look at all this. Woo! Look at that big old Pepsi bottle. That's cool. That's, um, what? It's $12. I remember when they came in those glass bottles like that and they had the, uh, the one liter Cokes like that. Oh, look at what is that? It's a house alarm. Oh, it's, it's a buzzer. $40. That's cool. Here's a bell. Mount Brass Anchor Ship Bell. $30. I'm not going to ring it. Look at the old irons. You, you'd heat them on the stove. Look at that. It's heavy. Gosh, that thing's heavy. Yeah, you set them on the stove and heat them up. Now these, what is this? Primitive coal iron made in the 1800s. Oh gosh, you put hot coal in that thing. It has a wooden handle, $45.
This one is bigger. It is a rare primitive old clothes iron. Special big number 10, $65. So you have this little latch and that allows you to open it. I guess you put hot coal in it. Lord, I couldn't imagine. But this is, see, this is just solid and it's really heavy. And you have to heat it on the stove. Here we go. <laughs> Look, it's the little California raisins. I used to have those. I collected all of those. And I had them, I had them all put in a box. And then when I got older, my mother gave them to my cousin who was 13 years younger than me. Well, she's still 13 younger than me. She gave away most of my toys to my cousin when I wasn't looking. I'm still kind of sore about it. Oh gosh, I remember when band-aids came in these metal boxes. I'm so old. I don't feel old until I come in stores like this. Vintage empty metal band-aid box. You can get that for only five bucks. Huh, and here's a curad. You could you could originally get these plain pads for 49 cents. Transparent plastic bandages. That was that's seven dollars. <laughs> oh, there's a big wrench. How much is that? It is fifteen dollars for the big wrench. There's a wash tub. Wash tub. There's some hinges. Here's a V8 hub, hub cap. What does that say? Set of one. How can you have a set of one? Set of one stainless hubcap with V8 logo, 1932 Ford car, $22. I'm just reading the tag. I don't know diddly squat about it. Here we have a thing from Camel in Winston and Salem. It's a po oh, it's a postcard. Look at that. Where's this? It's from Winston Salem, I guess. Yeah, the R.J. Went Reynolds Tobacco Company. That's in Winston-Salem, like Winston-Salem, North Carolina. North Carolina has a long history of tobacco, tobacco-related stuff. Look up there. Oh, I like the hummingbird feeders. They're made out of mason jars, and they have glass above them. Those are nice. This one is $35, made with an antique half-gallon blue ball mason jar. This one's smaller. $25. That's cool. Oh, here's an old, looks like a wedding photo. Weren't they a handsome couple? Huh. Antique photo, $12. We don't know anything about it. Hmm. You can even get a jar of marbles for $25. Oh, there's more back here, but I don't believe that's for us. Oh, gosh, look at all the flags. You can get you some. Well, these go on steps, switch mats. So for each step, you could put one of these on it. And we have one for our, vet, our military. There's one with a pickup truck on it. Oh, look at the kitty cat. Look at this garden flag. He's so cute. Oh, my mother would like this one. She loves irises. I think she'd like this one with the dragonfly on it. These are only $6.88. Ooh. That one's pretty, too. Oh, look at all the hummingbirds. <laughs> oh, this one's pretty with the bird feeder. And a bluebird. Oh, there's one with a cardinal, two cardinals on it. Look at this kitty. Oh, <laughs> oh, I want this one. It's tw well, this one's twelve eighty eight. I do like it though. Look, it says cat grass. <laughs> I want that flag right there. That's awesome. Here we have some signs. You can get you a pink John Deere plate for your car. Or a green one back there. Good morning, sunshine. 
Here's a camouflage and burlap one. It says, Welcome, y'all. From Duck Commander. Gosh, they have tons of flags. Oh, they have some for campers. Home is where we park it. <laughs> oh, look at that. That one looks like a camper with a map on it. See? <laughs> Neato. I love, I love these garden flags. I, I knew I had become a, a middle-aged woman when I started liking these flags. I didn't used to care about them. I love them now. Oh, you can get little miniature ones, too. Oh. Here's one for Carolina. Little American flag ones. These are five nine. Well, some of them are seven ninety nine. Some of them are five ninety nine. These thank you Jesus signs are made by. It was made a young man in Randolph County started doing that, and now you can find them everywhere. An armed forces veteran. Freedom isn't free. Oh, I like that hat right there. That plaid one. That's cool. You can get some for the different branches of the military, United States Navy, Marines, Army. Huh. I'll look at these shirts. It counts the stars and calls them by name. Cherished girl. Oh, there's one with a sloth on it. <laughs> these are like Christian themed shirts. Wild hog for Jesus. Oh, here's one of these umbrellas that opens and closes. It's a topsy-turvy umbrella. I've wanted to get one of these and see if they're better than the... See, they open like that. Or, I'm sorry, they close like that. I've heard they're better, but I don't know. Here are some for your lake house. Ooh, that's a nice... I want to go fishing so bad. Lake Tillery, North Carolina. Here's another one with Lake Tillery on it. I haven't been fishing all year. It's making me sad. <laughs> Bring the living the flip flop life. Oh, it's thick too. Pineapple. Be a pineapple. Stand tall. Wear a crown and be sweet on the inside. <laughs> hey, there's a dog. Oh, look at this one. This is an Atlas Mason. Uh, it has a copper roof, a half-gallon jar, $35. Here's a hunting dog. Oh, he's heavy. He's made out of cast iron. Hubley English Setter with original patina, $65. Huh, he's cool. I like it. Oh, look out over here. Oh, oh gosh, look at all the little things. <gasps> I love little things like this. Oh my gosh. Little tiny pottery. Little, oh, little things. Oh, I want to touch them all. I'm trying not to. They're so cute. Look how cute and tiny they are. Oh my goodness. That one's $9. It's pretty. And so you have, you can get these little shelves to set them up on. Look, it's, it's the, um, what are they called? Toby jugs? They have funny faces on them. <laughs> you could get little miniature ones. $23. Ooh, this one's cool. It's an upside down face. $29. That's cool. Ooh, that's pretty too. Back there. That's beautiful. These look like little pigs. Oh my goodness. They're all about... 20 to 25 dollars it looks like oh they're adorable they are so cute this one looks like the beach you could put your sugar packets in it Ooh, so pretty looks like bricks oh they're so tiny i love these little things and down here we have some that are a little bit bigger oops look at these are seven dollars This one's pretty. Look at that. It's like a tiny planter. And here we have some that look like mushrooms. Oh, wow. 
Oh, ooh, this one's cool. It has a belt around it. Look at that. It's a belt. Ooh, I'm going to be careful with that one. It's $87. I'm being careful. Lord, this brings back memories. My dad, when I was growing up, was a very heavy smoker. I mean, you, you couldn't find a picture of him back in the 70s or 80s where he did not have a cigarette in his hand. And one of my jobs as a child was to go around and clean out the ashtrays. And he had several like this in different colors. We had a clear one and a dark green one and a light green one. And I think we had a blue one like that. Huh. Cool. Oh gosh, look at this. Wow. These are cool. They look like the beach. I like it. Ooh, there's one with a piece of wood lashed to it. So pretty. Oh, I like that one. It looks like a chimney or something. Neato. Here's one. What is on this one? Oh, watches. Look, it has watches all over it. This is awesome. Oh, I didn't see the old telephone. Look at this old telephone. It's a vintage automatic electric series rotary telephone. That's only $30. I know I could probably open this door. Lord, I think our, our gossip lady needs one of those. <laughs> I do. It looks like a... Oh, it says it works, too. What? It works? You can also get this old jelly cupboard made out of old barn wood for $200. I want to see that phone for real. I may buy that. I'm not kidding. I want to see it. Can you see our gossipy lady using this? I said, look at the cord. Ooh. Oh, I think she needs this phone. How much is it? $30. It looks like it was more and it got the price was marked out. That is a spiffy. Look at the cradle on it. How it, that right there. she needs that phone the cord on it is covered in fabric I may take that phone home with me today or the air just kicked on you can see the vents up there startled me hey I see a Fisher Price barn we had one of these when I was a kid and, and it, it moves when you open it or shut it ours did but the moo the mower messed up and it started making this weird noise <laughs> and we would just laugh we would do it and just laugh here we have some pez dispensers here's garfield for 275 daffy duck there's dino from uh, flintstones snoopy and a bunny and Donald Duck. Oh my goodness, look, it's a Fisher Price a trumpet or musical instrument of some sort. FP Crazy Horn set, $22. There's Bugs Bunny, $275. And Yosemite Sam, oh my gosh, he's only $275. And they have a bunch of children's books. <gasps> no way, the mini bus. We had this when I was a kid. It's the mini bus. Oh my goodness, how much is this mini bus? I want this mini bus. $3.95, that's going home with me. That's only $4. We have the mini bus. And see, when you move it, the little people bobble up and down in there. I am so buying that mini bus. That is awesome. Yeah, this is another one of the things my mom gave away. My mini bus. Maybe that's why I've been fa so fixated with Volkswagen buses all my life. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, isn't this a nice piece here? Look at this. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. I think that's oak. Oh, it's not for sale. Darn. I like that. Here's a scary looking fox. A needle felt fox. It was made out of felt. Kind of freaky looking. Here's a duck. A little duck. 
an Easter duckling for $20. Wow. <laughs> oh, these chairs are pretty. Aren't they pretty? Oh, I like the padded seat. You can buy a set of four of these chairs for $125. I think the other two are in the window. These chairs are cool. Interesting color. I like the little matching cushion there. $125 for both chairs for the set. There's Elvis. It's a metal sign. It is $10. Oh, look at that. Lord, that looks like the 60s and 70s right there. I need a chest of drawers for my older son. Yeah, I think I'll go back to the red collection in Greensboro when they open to see if I can find him a set there. Little earrings. Look at the jewelry. These are cufflinks. Little thingies. Here's a fish pendant. Oh, a watch. It's only $3. Here's a canasta caliente. Some vintage clip earrings on there. Oh, there's an old perfume atomizer under the dome there. It's a nice dresser, too. A shabby chic dresser for $150. I like the knobs on it. They're pretty. Here we have weathered goods. Oh, look at that. That looks like a tetanus display. I'm not going to touch that too much. I, I'm due for a booster next year. It, my old shot might have worn off already. I don't know. <laughs> I do have to get a booster next year. I know that. Here we have insulators for power lines or phone lines or something. I know that's their insulators. There's a frog. Look at the frog. You can get a frog plaque for $8. That's cute. Somebody's working on their uh, booth right on the other side of this wall. Here's a wooden hand display for $18. Neato. So much cool stuff in here. Oh, it's like a little bird nest. That's cool. Somebody likes birds. There are a lot of little bird things around here. Oh, here's something. <laughs> this is true for thrift stores, too. The item you saw today and want to think about tonight will be sold later to the people who saw it yesterday and thought about it last night. <laughs> That's true, too. If you see something you want, you better grab it because it won't be there. I cannot tell you how many times I've done that. I've seen the thing and thought, oh... I don't know. And then I go back to get it and it's gone. Louis Grizzard, he's funny. Elvis is dead and I don't feel so good myself. <laughs> Here is a, oh wow. This was a, an oldie but a goodie back when they gave away ashtrays. This is from the Ner First National Bank of Albemarle. <laughs> they used to give away ashtrays. Dang, what is this? What in the world? Colonial and revolutionary currency. The Bank of the United States. I'll be darned, I don't know. Hmm. Oh, look at the old camera. Cool. I like the pretty, the beam up there, the nice display, that's cool. Well, we got back here, see the flags are back there. We're just kind of making our way back. Here's a little cart with all kinds of goodies on it. A little chair. Here we have some jewelry. Some necklaces. There's a watch. Several watches. Here's a brute watch for men. Oh wow. There's a big old watch there. It's kind of hard to look at it with it looks like they're in the midst of either setting up or taking it down, but you can get some old doors, screen doors. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at this. An art glass bottle with a bird stopper. That is $16. It's beautiful. Look at that. Oh, I love it. No, 
nice. That's a nice desk, too. And I know a lot of people think that antique stores are overpriced, but let me tell you, you can find some real bargains in here. Right here, like this, like, this is a good example. Now, if you went to a regular store and bought a press board desk that you have to put together yourself, you're going to spend about the same price. This is $133 for this mahogany desk. The difference is, this is solid wood. Solid mahogany. That desk will last forever. So I know people think it's overpriced. That is definitely not overpriced. That is a wonderful deal for that desk. Now, not everything is a bargain, but you can find some great bargains on antique furniture. Now, if you're not Billy Bob Thornton, that could be a good thing. I, I understand he has does not like antique furniture. I love it personally. Look at the pretty swoopy design in that. That's a gorgeous desk. I love it. Yeah. And I would rather have a piece of solid furniture that's going to last, like this piece right here. That's gorgeous. Oh, I like the stained glass up there, too. That's pretty. And look at this big, you can get this huge basket for $32. Wow. Here is um, an old bag of flour. Carolina Beauty Self-Rising Flower from Sherall, South Carolina. Mm. I'm definitely going to get that phone, and I'm definitely getting that minibus. And I don't know what else I'm going to get, but I'm getting those things. Oh, here's some crochet goodies here. A little coffee cup hot pad. That's pretty. Oh, isn't this cute? Little cupcake doohickeys. Like a little, a little, uh, whatchamacallit, pot holder. Oh, I couldn't think of the word pot holder. Handmade quilted cupcake pot holder. That's cute. $6.50. Little tins here. I hear Dolly Parton. Oh, there's an old, <laughs> that's a cool idea. They took an old, Spring, you know, a mattress, you know, the springs, and they wound like dried grapevines and lights around it. That's pretty cool. And then you have a, a chandelier hanging down there. And look, a big, uh, it's like dried vines, and they've made like a Christmas tree out of it. And they have little ornaments and cookie cutters that you can buy, and a big crow on the top. <laughs> And one right there. <laughs> I love this stuff. We're going to have to come back here again. I love this kind of stuff. Yeah, I hear Dolly. <laughs> and we have... Oh, look at that um, mantle back there. Is that a real... That's a real painting, it looks like. That's pretty. A beautiful light up there. Oh, I, lo I love these ladder shelves like this. They just You could just take an old ladder and put boards on there. The ladder with the shelves is $100. That's cool. I like it. And these are tobacco, tobacco baskets. A new tobacco basket. $58. Good God. That's a bit much. But... Oh, look at this pretty thing. Look at this arch. Neato. Oh, now this is nice. I have bought so much furniture in antique stores. I'm telling you, you can get some really good items that way. Matching dining room table, long dresser, and entertainment center. Wexford collection, French country, three drawer chest and side table, solid pine, tongue and groove construction, $105. Here's a nice basket. An antique pine needle bowl basket. It's made out of pine needles. Oh, that's cool. I've never seen one quite like that. $18. And here we have a spalted, spalted pecan large bowl made by Daryl Rudy. One of a kind treasure. $45. Oh, 
Oh, isn't that something? Look at that thing. Oh, it's cold. Ah, and here's some information. His wife passed away in 2013. He is very old. That's pretty. Here's a big old fat rooster. Look at that thing. <laughs> well, he's fluffy. Look at him. Ooh. It's all feathers and britches. That's what that is. He's not actually. He's. It's all feathers. <laughs> Here's another iron, a flat iron, hand painted for 1925. Oh, that's a nice little bookshelf there. That's pretty. It's a natural wood bookshelf for the adjustable shelves. This is only $40 and it's solid wood. This bookshelf is $40. Good Lord, I wish I had somewhere to put that. I'd buy it in a heartbeat. I'd bring my truck down here and take it home. Here's an owl. Lord, that's a heavy owl. It needs something. An iron, ironwood carved owl. Ear, oh, his ears messed up. He's only nine ninety five. Huh. Here's an old sign. Coats and Clark, thread, zippers, and tape. The secret of good sewing is the use of coats and Clark. Here's a phone kind of like the gossip lady has now. Yeah, it's it's one of these right here. 1950s. Yeah, I think I paid about $30 for mine. I found it on eBay. Here's some pens. Oh, aren't they pretty? They're wood. And Nichols Forge Metalworks. Huh. Here's pieces of Horseshoes. That's cool. And hooks. Little hooks. Hmm. That's awesome. Look at that big old chair. Oh. Look, it's a tub, and they have the front porch hats. That's cool. You can get candy. Look, you can get peanut butter logs. Those are good, the little peanut butter bars. Zag nuts. Didn't they have one of those in Beetlejuice? Didn't he lure out something with a zag nut? Super bubble. Oh, atomic fireballs. Oh, those are good too. I like the uh, the caramel ones. Ring pops, fruit slices. Mmm. You can also get elderberry syrup. From the elderberry lady. Neato. You can even get a front porch shirt. I like the shirt. That's cool. Candor Bisco. And they have the longitude and the latitude. And of course, Montgomery County is known for its Sasquatch sightings up in the URE forest. URE. Not good. Candor. Bisco. Hmm. Oh, look at the ornaments. This would be cool if you had like a lake house or a beach house. You could get these little... Oh, it's a fishing lure. There's the Bigfoot ornament. <laughs> and it has a, a top on it that says Happy Camper. You could do you a little... A tree. We have Matt Gid, Uari. The zip codes. El Dorado. Bisco. Oh, there's a Bigfoot tray. That's cool. <laughs> awesome. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at this. <gasps> wow. It's an antique oak nap joint dresser from 1870 to 1900. That is only $299. Oh, look at that. Interesting. Look at that. I guess that's what a nap joint is. That is solid wood. Do you, if you think that's overpriced, do you have any idea what you would pay somebody to make something like that? It would be thousands and thousands of dollars to make something like that today. Oh, that's only $300. It's beautiful. Wow. I don't have anywhere to put it, but that is awesome. 
I like this little corner shelf too. A little corner cabinet for $119.99. Pretty. Oh, I like the little skinny table. Lord, look at that. A little plant stand. $15. That's cute. <laughs> All right. Let's see. There's an old church. Huh. I don't see any information on it. Hey, look at that. Randolph. Randolph County. Starting and Growing Mash. Randolph Mills, Franklinville, North Carolina. 25 Randolph Pounds. Starting and Growing Mash. Gosh, that's $185. Of course, I imagine you can't find too many of those. <laughs> Here's a Hornet Remedy. Used Mullins, sold by all druggists and country merchants. That is $549. A very early paper litho sign for Mullins Hornet Nest liniment with outstanding detailed lithography. Huh. I'll take your word for it. Alrighty. But thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this walkthrough. This antique store is really cool. I'm going to have to come back here again sometime. I've never been here before. Um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it under the circumstances as they are. Um, thank you so much for watching and walking around with me today. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you again soon.